Hello everyone and once again welcome back to my channel Simply Charnay where it's simply me being me. Today is part one of my braiding hair series um, where I show you how I achieve this look right here. Um, part one is just going to be me braiding my hair. Part two I'm going to show you how I parted my hair. Part three is my technique for blow drying my hair for the best results. And I have a part four, which is the bonus part, where I show you how I mix this color, um, like this black and purple color that I have in my hair right now. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So, if you're interested, make sure you go ahead and hit that red subscribe button so that you do not miss any of my videos, along with that, you know, notification button. But right now, I only have like six left, so I thought it'd be great, a great time to show you guys what I do. So I'm gonna start with this one in the front right here. And um, I do do the rubber band method. So I do, I have my parts all done. And then before I start, I just go ahead and put the shine and jam that I use um, like right here. And I put that on the braid, the hair itself, just so that it's all together and it stays well in the braid. Then I grab my hair. So next, I grab the hair and I split it into two, but I just like get a, like a third of it. And I cross it over and I loop it so it does this right here. Yeah, like this. And this is like the smaller section. And then this is the bigger side right here. So what I do, I loop the bigger side around the top of my hair and then I just pull my piece of hair and put it with the piece of the smaller hair. And then I cross the bottom two and then I start braiding like normal just to make sure that I have it secure at the base. And then as I braid down my hair, I'll show you in a second, I like to wrap this hair around my own just so that it prevents it from frizzing so fast. You can see. So you can't really see my hair as much. Like that. So I wrap my hair around it. Yep, and then I just go ahead and braid it down the whole way. Um, and the, the rubber band method definitely helps because it doesn't make me have to grip it so much at the bottom. I can just go for it. So if you're new to doing braids, I you can I recommend you starting with the rubber band method, but don't put the rubber bands too tight at the base of your braid because that can cause your hair to break in. You don't want that. Because we want to preserve every strand because like I said, every strand is valuable. So now that I'm at the bottom of my braid, I just grab a little piece like this much off the bottom and I loop it around and tie a knot um, just so the braid doesn't unravel. But I'm also, I also do dip my ends in hot water just so they stay better. Um, but this definitely helps before you do it. And it looks like this. So you can't really see the braid, um, the knot. So yeah, that's one finished braid. So let's go ahead and keep on going and finish my head. And then, so you guys can see my finished product.
Okay, so now I'm on my final braid. I got the shine jam on my part already. And I'm gonna show you guys without the rubber band because why not just show you both ways? Um, so yeah, once again, I split, I get a third out of the part. I cross them over and I loop them together like so, right? Then I take the bigger section and I pull my hair through the middle of them. And then I just cross them and then I start on my way braiding down, of course, making sure that it is secure at the base. Um, that's just how I do it. I know some people, everybody has their own techniques, but this is what I find works best for me. And it's easiest, but yeah. So of course you just wanna tuck your hair in between it. Cause like you see, this is my hair right here, but you don't wanna see that. You just wrap it around. So then as you braid down, it becomes one with the braid. Okay. We're to the end of the braid. Sorry for the delay. I am officially... Oh man, why? Okay. I'm officially done with my hair. So, yeah, this is what it looks like. I have purple braids. I've never done purple clip before, but I like it. Of course, I can, let me see. Get my edge brush. I guess I can brush this back. All right, I'm all done. After like, all day doing my hair because it spent a total of almost seven hours washing my hair, braiding it, parting it, and everything. But those videos are to come. But yeah, thank you for sitting here and watching my whole video. We just do a quick spin around. So here's, that's my finish hairstyle um if you like this video and you stuck to the end of the video thank you so much i appreciate you sitting here and watching me do my hair and like always don't forget to hit that red subscribe button because obviously you like me if you're still here and don't forget to be the best you because there's only one person like you and that's you so simply be genuine and i'll see you guys next time bye